Hi everyone, today's by request is a review of the Deco Art Paper Effects. It's a right squiggle in design in 3D. It comes in a squeeze bottle. <gasps> Sorry about the dogs. Um, one fluid ounce. And I, ha I happen to have the copper metallic, the metallic copper. And I already have the fine point tip on. There you go. And it comes with the tip and the little stopper, which is very, very small. Do you see that? So you have to be careful not to misplace that. So I'm just going to put that on a little piece of paper towel so I don't <clears throat> lose it on my desktop. So I did get it on clearance at AC Moore, um, but I believe that there are more available at the decoart.com site. So you can write with the regular tip, which is a medium broad tip, or the fine tip. And I've been playing around with the fine tip. Let me show you just how fine it gets. I've zoomed in on my camera just so you could see how tiny these little elements are. So all I did here is dab tiny little drops and I made my own little swirls and I've written with it, made dash lines, uh, dotted heart, filled in the heart. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've stamped an image here. This is, a, I think, a Snagum stamp. Life is a circus, and then, and then a little circles within the word. I just put a little dab of the um, deco art. So let me just show you. Um, let me grab a blank piece of paper and show you. So, um, Inside it will be lined with a foil wrapper, which I've already removed, and um, the instructions are to shake, so I'm just going to cover up the tip and shake the bottle to incorporate any separation that may have happened from time, <clears throat> and then I'm going to turn it upside down, and on my paper towel, I'm going to shake it down, and then do the initial squeeze so I know See, there's a little air bubble. I just want to make sure that it's flowing freely. There you go. And now I'm going to write with it. So it writes really nicely. It's got, um, you have, <clears throat> excuse me, great control doing the little dabs. The smaller the dabs, the less there will be distortion when they dry. So you can make, um, you know, you could stamp your favorite flourish and then go over it with this, which will give you a Prima-esque kind of uh, result. This is already dried. I did this earlier. So here it is. And it is raised. You see the how much it's raised. I don't know if you could tell from these. Do you see how I laid it on a little thicker? And when they set up, there's a little bit of a puckering that occurs. But the straight lines are very nicely, very neat. Little dash lines. It's a <clears throat> It's a wonderful tip. I wish these tips were available separately. So you can put them on your regular um, paint and write with that. But this is, a, so far I'm having a lot of fun playing with this. Um, it can be removed with soap and water for cleanup. Uh, let's see, if it clogs, use a cleaner pin to clean. Insert cleaner pin when not in use. So <clears throat> if you intend to use this for fine detail, work, I would definitely recommend leaving this detail um, tip on and then placing the pin back in. Let me show you. Just to make sure that when it dries, when it sets up, they're able to remove it and use it again. I really like it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go see if there's any more, if there are any more colors available. Uh, again, it's Deco Art Paper Effects. You can write, squiggle, and design in 3D. 
specially formulated dimensional paint for all paper crafts. So it dries pretty nicely. You see that I just did this one and it's already setting up. It has a really nice effect. So if you have pretty hand, uh, you know, pretty cursive handwriting, this would be a great way for you to have the dimensional effect on it. Uh, you can make your own little swirls. You could stamp a background stamp. You could etch in pencil and then go over it with the uh, paper effect. I'm going to check to see what other colors it comes in. Um, once I find the information, I'll include it in the description below or somewhere in the screen. If you have any questions about this product or if you would like to see other items reviewed, uh, please feel free to leave me a comment. Don't forget to stop by my blog where I have close-up photographs of various projects uh, as well as these products and I'll include a close-up photograph of the result little sample sheet here that I've been playing with. I thought that this effect would be really cool on the nice you know, the copper would be nice on this little mini that I'm still working on on the little um, acorn mini so there you go and the stamp that I did this I stamped it with uh, jet black stays on there you go. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching.